It's definitely been a year of change and I have a feeling that 2020 isn't going to be any different. So yeah, surprise maybe if you haven't already seen my Instagram. I'm not entirely sure when this video will be going up, but I think when you watch it I should be around the 16 week pregnant mark, so I'll be into my second trimester. Um, and yeah, Nick and I are expecting a baby in the middle of this year and we're really excited. On the day that I found out I was pregnant, I did film a few clips uh, like after I'd taken the test. So I don't have any clips of like turning the test over and being shocked and everything like that. Um, but I feel like if I just showed you those clips without context, you wouldn't really understand because when I found out I was pregnant, I was quite shocked and I really didn't think I was pregnant. But to explain why that was the case, I need to go back in time a little bit. So bear with me while I give you this backstory and then you can see some footage. Back in May of 2019, Nick and I had just gone back from our honeymoon and I was really struggling to be back inside an office for like eight hours a day under fluorescent lights. I was having headaches, I was feeling dizzy, I was feeling sick and I just all around wasn't really having a very good time. And I thought it might have been related to my eyes because I obviously hadn't been looking at a computer screen for a month while we'd been on our honeymoon. And I thought maybe my glasses prescription needed updating because I'd had that prescription for a good couple years. I remember talking to one of my friends about some of the symptoms that I was having and she mentioned that they can also be the symptoms of early pregnancy. So I was pretty sure I wasn't pregnant but I took a test anyway, it was negative. So then I went and saw my optometrist and that leads on to a whole other story. But basically I had about four months of hospital ophthalmology appointments, which is like the eye doctor at the hospital, because uh, I thought there was something wrong with my eyes and then eventually that led to a neurology diagnosis of chronic migraines. That made a lot of sense to me because the main symptoms that I was having were headaches, which led to me feeling really exhausted and tired, and then also like sometimes a little bit dizzy along with that. There were kind of three options for the medication that I could take. Two of them were prescription only medication and the other one was like a slightly lower dose and it was just pharmacy only medication. And I remember consulting with some of my friends who had also been diagnosed with chronic migraines around my age and she had mentioned that the prescription only medication that she'd been on the side effects like really affected her they made her feel quite like dull and numb and I really wasn't interested in being on any medication that just didn't make me feel like myself. I mentioned to my doctor that I first wanted to try the pharmacy only medication and she said that if in a couple months it wasn't working then we'd probably have to discuss uh, moving on to the stronger prescription only medication. So I started taking this pharmacy medication and straight away I felt so much clearer, I had so much energy, I got through the day without having a headache which was like the first time in months and everything was going really well. After about two months of this working perfectly I slowly but surely started to feel all these same symptoms again. So I was getting headaches, I was feeling exhausted and dizzy and nauseous and at this point I was kind of hoping that it was like anything but the medication not working so I decided to take another pregnancy test just to see if it could be that. It came back negative and then I knew that begrudgingly I was going to have to make another doctor's appointment to try and figure out like what could I do about these headaches. Exactly a week later on Thursday the 24th of October, I still hadn't made a doctor's appointment, but I woke up with an insanely bad headache. So I just called in sick for work that day and I decided that I was just gonna take it easy, try and make a doctor's appointment and try and just get this sorted. Even though I didn't wanna be on the stronger medication, I just figured at that point it was gonna be what was best for me and I was just gonna have to trial it out. I know this whole backstory in itself is a bit of a side note, but I'm gonna add another little side note layer. I promise this also will make sense. On this particular Thursday, Nick was either not working or he was starting work late, I can't quite remember. But our cat Subi normally expects to get woken up by Nick's alarm around five o'clock, get fed and then she goes and does her thing. On this particular day, because he wasn't working, it was like 6.30 and neither of us were awake yet and she was getting grumpy. Even though she always has food in her bowl, I think she just like likes her routine and she wanted to be fed. So she was like jumping all over us, trying to get us to wake up and like get out of bed to go and feed her. And at this point I had such a headache, as I said, I was getting really annoyed. So I just decided to get up and feed her so that I could go back to sleep in peace. This part gets a little bit TMI, but after I'd fed her, I needed to go to the bathroom. And at this point I'd realized that I was also a few days late. So at this point I was really hoping that I was having those symptoms because I was pregnant. But at the same time, I was just so sure I wasn't going to be that I just expected it to be negative. So much so that I told Nick to not even get out of bed. So I like popped my head around the corner of our bedroom and was just like, hey, I'm just gonna take a pregnancy test. It's gonna be negative. Don't even worry about getting up. Um, and then I went and took the test. I know you're supposed to like turn the test over and not look at it, but again, because I was so sure it was gonna be negative, I was just really curious to see how it worked. So took the test and I was just like sitting there watching 
the screen do its thing. Um, and at this point, Nick had decided that regardless of the result, he needed to be supportive. So he had gotten out of bed and came into the bathroom. And just as he came into the bathroom, I started seeing the second line. Immediately to Nick, I was like, I think there's a second line there. And bear in mind, he had like just woken up. He'd just gone from like a dark room into a bright bathroom. So he couldn't see anything. And he was like, oh, like she's definitely seeing things. But slowly but surely it started like developing even more and he could see it as well. And then I think we were both in like a state of shock. This is where the footage that I took on the day comes in. Hello everyone. Today is uh, Thursday the 24th of October. Um, I decided to take another pregnancy test this morning and it was positive. <laughs> Can you see that? So that happened. I am in a state of disbelief. I like don't really believe that this is real. Nick and I were both like quite confused this morning because I think after last week we just like told ourselves that like we weren't pregnant. Um, but I've just gone and bought one of these clear blue tests that tell you like digitally how many weeks you are if you are pregnant. So I'm gonna take that now and just double check. Okay, I took the test. I didn't film. Um, when the result came through <laughs> but I actually am pregnant is that on focus? I feel like I'm shaking one to two weeks this is actually crazy especially I think it wouldn't be so shocking if last week I didn't have the result that said negative so obviously that would have been like before six days or whatever so like it just wouldn't have been showing it but I was just like so sure that because that said negative I wasn't pregnant, so like, I don't know what to say. I'm so shocked, happy and excited. <laughs> so yeah, that is our story time of how I found out I was pregnant. I know it was a bit of a ramble. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, I've also been filming a bunch of other pregnancy related videos. So I've been keeping like a vlog diary of my first trimester. I've been filming some people's reaction as we've started telling people. And I do have like a few other little videos planned about pregnancy. So if you have any questions, if there's any videos that you'd like me to see, uh, please leave them for me in the comment section down below. But also if pregnancy is just not your thing or you just don't even care about it, fair enough. There will also still be like the DIY and just like the regular content on this channel as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are pregnant too, congratulations. That's really exciting. Uh, maybe we can go on this journey together. And yeah, there'll be another video coming next week that will be pregnancy related. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Bye.